Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have our first three-phase circuit. We have a three-phase source here on the left. We're not told um, how it's configured, whether it's delta or y or something else. And on the right, we have a balanced three-phase load. And all we're given here is the line-to-line um, -line voltage, which is 173 volts. So that is 173 volts from phases A to B, B to C, and A to C. <clears throat> and we're also given the impedance of one leg, uh, which is 7.07 .07 plus J 7.07 .07 ohms. And the problem asks, um, if we were to take this, uh, this Y connected load and replace it with a delta, what would be the real power dissipated um, for this circuit? So this is the total three phase power um, and it's in kilowatts real power. So pause the video, give it a shot and um, we'll see what we get. So to go ahead and solve this, um, we have to first realize that the Y connection in there is just thrown in there to, to confuse you. And we don't really need to solve this Y circuit in order to get the delta circuit. Um, we can just simply replace the Y load with the delta load and then we'll be all set. We solve it as a delta. So when we do that, when we replace this Y here with the delta, um, we get the delta the for all delta circuits. Um, the line to line, the line to line voltage is equal to the, what I'm going to call the phase voltage. And in this case, it's equal to 173 volts. And now, using that um, that 173 volts, we can find the the apparent power per phase as equal to v squared over r per phase divided by uh, the impedance z. And when we do that, we get 173 squared divided by 7.07 .07 J 7.07 .07 ohms and when I solve that and I put it into um, into polar coordinates uh, I get the following I get 9 9 I'm just gonna leave it at that there's some decimals in there negative uh, 45 degrees and the reason I put it into uh, polar coordinates is because this is the apparent power um, for a single leg and we want the real power dissipated. Remember that S is actually equal to the real power P plus the imaginary portion which is the reactive power. We want just the real power here. So um, we're gonna need this angle of negative 45 degrees to get the power factor uh, which is the true power over the apparent power. And uh, we'll do that in a little bit. Uh, first, we need to get the three-phase power. So I'm going to call this, uh, let's call it S three-phase, which is simply three times um, each, um, three times the power of each leg. All right, so we have three legs. So if we multiply this by 3S, we can get the um, the total three phase apparent power, and that comes out to eight nine eight zero at an angle of still negative forty five. That hasn't changed, right? And now the thing to remember, like I said before, is that only gives us the apparent power. We need the true power okay or sometimes called the active power um, and so to get that um, we call that power factor which I'm going to denote as PF is equal to the cosine of this angle here which is the the, the negative 45 degrees and it's equal to um, true power which I'm going to call P over apparent power S and that is a relationship between those two guys. And so if we want to find P, 
P is equal to S times the cosine times the cosine of this angle, which is negative 45 degrees. And negative 40, uh, cosine of negative any angle or um, is, is going to be just the cosine of um, that angle, right? So it, it's an even function. Okay, so that gives us that the power, when we plug in S, uh, we get 8, 9, 8, zero. This will be like the magnitude of s times the cosine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. And that ends up giving us, I have 6.35 kilowatts. And that is what I have as the three-phase real power dissipated on a delta load. So did you get that? Um, leave me a, a comment in the, um, the below the video here and um, you know let me know if there's any other videos that you'd like me to, to go over anything in, in this particular video that um, needs clarification um, please give me uh, let me know in the comments um, and until then guys enjoy engineering.